All right, so I'm not gonna be before y'all long this morning. Listen, I know y'all don't y'all ain't even used to seeing me in the mornings, right? Not even used to seeing me in the mornings like this time. I should, I, I'm gonna have to learn to turn my notifications off before I before I um get online because I be getting so many texts and different things that be going on. So I'm sorry for any noise you hear in the background. But listen, I know y'all are not used to seeing me in the mornings. I hear you know you saw me yesterday morning when I did prayer and I usually don't do prayer on Tuesday mornings. But you saw me pop in yesterday. Well this morning I was just up washing my sheets on my bed and just fresh you know, getting things fresh and freshened up and just thinking about some things. So I decided I'd spend a few minutes with y'all this morning. I really need to make it fast because I really needed to do something at seven thirty. So I'm gonna try not to be that long, but you know how that be. You try not to be that long, but then you end up going long. So but look, I just wanted to just grace y'all this morning with a smile, you know, and just um just a, a, a ray of sunshine this morning. You know, somebody maybe got up this morning and you just didn't you know, like they say, you didn't get up on the right side of the bed. You know, you maybe got up, got up on the left or the foot, uh, you know, or the bed. But I just wanted to grace you this morning to say, listen, you, you got breath in your body today. So this is an opportunity to make the most out of of the day, you know, this is an opportunity for you to move beyond the things that you faced on yesterday, even the things that happened on last night, and realize that you had some new mercies this morning. You got some brand new mercies this morning. You got opportunity to do some things different today. So let's make the best out of it. And as I was, um, you know, I really was like, God, you know, what is it that I could encourage the um the people with today if I was going to, to say anything? I got just, a, you know, a few thoughts in my head. If you know anything about me and if you've been like <laughs> tracking with me, man, I'm telling you, man, my phone, I, I'm going to figure out how to cut these notes, man, because I, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, you know, at night before before I you go to sleep, I always go through my messages, my inboxes, and my texts, and all that to make sure that I've responded to people because I don't like to leave, you know, anybody just out there and you know just unnoticed. But man, in the course of a day, y'all, in the course of a day, it's something. But you know, as I was just, uh, you know, I was like, listen, God, you know, I'm just meditating. That is the thing that I like to do in the mornings when I get up. I like to meditate, and if you know anything about me right now, I'm like really big on this, um, this life and this godliness and this freedom you know i'm just really big on that right now just real real big on it and how you know and sometimes i literally i feel uh you know maybe alone in an essence on it you know we're dealing with it because it's like you know uh, god it, 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 does it make sense it doesn't you know it really doesn't make sense but but anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it. So, but look, so I'm just, you know, just meditating and I, I just want to just, just really give you some encouragement on certain things as it pertains to like life and things that are, uh, you know, that go on with life. Life is a beast, man. Life, life is something. There is no winning in life without Christ. There, there, there is, there is just no winning in life without Christ. I don't care how much, you know, success you consider yourself to be done obtained. There is no winning in life without Christ. You can have all the riches in the world. You could be the billionaire, trillionaire, whatever it is, but there is no winning in life without Christ. No winning in life because life, you know, life, that L-I-F-E, life, Life has a way of throwing you some things, man. It'll hit you with a curveball and you like, where did that come from? You literally done been at all the practices, you know. You've been at all the practice. You've listened to the coach. You you know what I'm saying? You literally you watched um some other players that have played before you. You went and watched film and all kinds of stuff, but then there come life done bam hit you before before you know it. You sitting there and you thinking that they're about to, you know, to throw a fast pitch and they're gonna pitch on the inside and the ball goes on the outside. You know, you just really 
really don't know what the deal is going to be with life. But I just need to tell y'all, you know, I've messed around and I think I may be found, you know, something that can help us in life, something, something that can help us to win in life. And it's Christ. That's all I can tell you. I, I, I can't tell you that it's alcohol. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 the bottle, it can only help you for so long. I can't, I can't tell you that it's some type of drug. You know, it can only help you for so long, but man, I found that you cannot win in life without Christ because it's some things that Jesus said that, uh, you know, I wish I hadn't waited and maybe it's about timing as to when we find out things. But if I had known this some years ago, there are some things that I would have done very differently in my life because I see you can't win without life and with, with, win life without Christ. And so I realized something here, uh, John 10 and 10, you know, I have to give you some scripture because it does, it just has to be scripture, scripturally contextually. It, it, it just gotta be like that, you know, God to say something about about the scripture the most uh the you know the most refuted word that there is is the word of god but it is every year they say it's the number one best seller that there is but it is the one that people I, it, i'm intrigued by the fact of people of how they want to prove it to be so wrong it just gets me you know uh you know king james wasn't right that's what they say they talk about the fact you know the King James wasn't right, and and that's not really the whole Bible. That's what, you know, I've heard people say those type things. That's not really the whole Bible. There were some books that were extracted from the Bible. And, and you know, and, I, and as humans, I realized something about us that, 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 there's, that there's never enough. You know, that's what gets me is, is there is never enough. There is something about us because we were literally created in his image and in his likeness so that the problem in the fight that we have as a people is the fact that because we were created in a form, you know, just a form of being a God, that there is so much about us that wants to be God. We literally, I got to be God. I I, 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 I know I can do this and I can do that and we can't. And so they literally go after the word of God to try to prove, I, you know, I've, I've heard people say some of the most absurd things as it relates to the word of God, but the word of God to me is a book of principles. That's what, that's what it is. It is a book of principles. And when it is looked at as a book of principles, it will help you stay within the guidelines of making sure that your life is, uh, is, is literally a, a, a great life period. You know, it'll give you the, the guidelines or it gives you the boundaries of to stay within that helps your life to be successful. So Jesus says something in a very familiar passage of scripture. Uh, it's in John 10, 10. Is 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 very familiar with us, and he goes and he's talking to them, and he says, "Listen, uh, you know, let me back it up just a little bit because I like something he said prior to verse ten. I love how he says in verse door, he in verse nine, he says, "I am the door." That's what he says in verse nine. Now that just captivated me. I am the door. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So there is a a key to this thing called life. Wait a wait 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 a minute. There is a key to this thing called life. There, wait, hold up, hold up. Just let me grab that for a second. There is a, there is a key to this thing. Wait, hold, hold, hold up. I am the door. Wait a minute. I need to, I need to get out. I'm, I'm on the outside, and I need to get in the inside. So, what is it that I need to do? Jesus steps in and says, "I'm the door." Wait a minute. So. I'm I'm dealing with all types of things in my in in my life right now. There are all types of stuff that's going on. I'm troubled on every side, you know. Uh, uh, you know the, the the scripture talks about that. How uh, you know just I mean on every side, trouble everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. But I'm the door. He steps in and says, "I am the door." What? Why? Why are you a door? Because I'm an entrance to something. I'm an entrance to something, so I am the door. He this this is John ten verse nine. I am the door, and then he gets bold, man. He gets more bold as he speaks, and he says, "By me, well, wait, by me, if any man enter in." Mm -hmm. Listen, he says, "I am the door, so I am the opportunity. I am the opportunity that you need in order for you to get out of that place that you are in. There is a door in front of you, is what I'm trying to tell you this morning. There is a door in front of 
of you. I Listen, I know you think I don't see the door. There is no way that everything is dark right now. You don't see Delphine, Pastor Lee, whatever, Pastor Lee, whatever you call me, Fiend. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you don't see it. You don't, you know, but there's a door, baby. Listen, I'm telling you, there is a door. He says, I am the door. I am the door. There, there is a particular door. See, the problem with us is, is we have doors. That's the problem with us. Oh, you gonna do this this morning, Delphine? I'm gonna do it this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna do it this morning because this morning when I rose, I didn't have a bit of doubt. Watch me now, watch me. You gonna do this? Yeah, I'm finna do it. Okay, so the, 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 the problem with us is we have too many doors. We, oh Lord, have mercy. We got too many doors. Wait, well, what kind of doors do you got? Well, you know, I got the doors of my friends. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got the door. I can go in this door right here with my friends, and I can listen to them and I can let them say some things to me. Uh, mm. I can let them talk to me about some things and oh Lord have mercy. Maybe if I call them and, and see what they gonna say, well that's a door. Well okay, well, well, well I see another door over there. What is that other door that you got over there? Well, you know, that's my that's that that's my own door right there. That's me having counsel with myself and 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 the way I want to do things. That's that door right there. You know, well, well, well what's this other door that you got you, that you got over here? Well, well, you know, I got this door over here. This is it's is is, is, this is the satanic door that's 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 over there, and, and boy, I tell you, it wants to really just really take me in into some places. So there's too many doors. There's too many doors, and so what you have to do is you're gonna have to narrow that thing down to one door. You literally are going to have to narrow it down to one door. And Jesus, listen with his profound, awesome self. He says, "Look, I am the door. I'm the door, right? And by me, if any man enter in, I, I, there there is an opportunity." I I literally want to bring you from the place of where you are, from the outside of the external place that you are. I want to bring you in. Somebody listen this morning. Just say, Lord, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get in, Lord. You know, and he says, if if, if by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Woo, 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 woo. Anybody other than me need to be rescued from some things. Well, can I tell you that the door to life and the door to your, to your, the, the door to your success, the door to your peace, the door to your joy is in opening it. The door that Christ has is yeah, no, 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 no. I know you. You know you. You think well. If I, you know, I, I, I call my home girl over here. I call my homeboy. You know, I can see counsel with myself, and that's the door. Now, sweetheart, them doors ain't working. None of them are working. The door is by Christ, and so He says He shall be saved and shall go in and out. Mm. Wait a minute and find pastor. Hold, hold up just one second. Let's look at that for just one second. He says uh, he's going to be able to go in and out. Um, mm, mm. Okay, 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 okay. So what... what what do you what do you mean what do you mean about uh going to be able to go in and out how is it see i thought that when i i went in when i went in that i was going to to be in listen i said lord what do you what do you mean about the ability to be able to go to go in and out concerning things well what do you know <laughs> I'm so sick of my phone, y'all. When I tell you, I'm, I am. I, 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 oh my! I'm so sorry. I apologize. I know y'all hear all that. It's it's ridiculous, man. And it starts so early in the morning. Sometimes four o'clock in the morning, and that kinds of stuff. I got to silence this stuff because oh boy. And then you don't really want to silence this stuff because you know you got children out here that that they, they, they ain't on the Lord's side. So you have to, you know, you don't 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 ever know, you know, you what. what the deal gonna be you got pet family you know i got an 85 year old mom a 71 year old dad all this so you have to you know you don't really want to silence it but um so i apologize for that but look you know you sitting i said wait a minute lord how is it that we go in you know he listen to what he says he says and shall go in and out and find pastor so let's talk about this going in and out i remember i told y'all a few minutes ago about how life would do you know you just really don't know exactly which way life Life is going to come sometimes. So there is in and out. I need to encourage my people this morning that sometimes you mess up. You know, I, I don't want to give you a license to do anything wrong, but I don't want you to put a yoke around your neck and kill yourself like Judas did. OK, 
okay? So I know you done done something. You didn't have any business against the Lord. I, I know you have. I, I know for a fact you ain't, you ain't living the thing like you know you were supposed to live it. But baby, can I just go ahead and tell you something? That does not mean that you're not worth anything. What that means is, is you just need to mature some more, sweetheart. You messed around and gave yourself another door. That's what it means, honey. You gave yourself another door. You went in a door. You need to have, you know, you, you, you gave yourself another option. That's what, that's what that means. So he says he has the ability to be able to go in and out. So in and out. So there was going to be times in life as to where you're going to go in and out. And then he says, look, but what he says and find pasture in that finding pastor, I said, God, listen, you have to understand the revelation realm of where the Lord will talk to me concerning things. Finding pastor, a lot of times uh, we find pastor in places that are not good places. It's not always about a good place where we find pastor. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you come in, when you come in the door of Christ, there is pasture there. But when you go out, there also is pasture that we find there. Make it plain for me. I'm going to make it plain for you. I cannot get real serious this morning. Don't nobody get offended. I right? don't think I'm pointing you out. Don't think, I let them, but I'm going to just show you exactly what it is that we'll do. Why? Because I don't, I don't I done it. That's why I can tell you. Okay, so I go in. I go in. I need to bring somebody back home. That's what that's what I need to do. I needed to get on here this morning and I need to bring somebody. Hey God, I feel you, Lord. I need to bring somebody back home. I, I, hey God, I got some one, I got some one kids out here. And I need to get you this morning. I need to bring you back home, baby. But I'm finna come get you. Okay. So you done you 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 went in. You you went in, right? You done made Jesus your Lord. You went in that door, but you messed around and you went out that door, you know, and something happened. And for whatever reason it is, because when you go in, it's not always that you got it all together when you go in. It doesn't always mean that you're going to stay in when you go in. I went in in 1997 is when I went in, but I backslid out in 2003, sweetheart. Listen, it says going out and find pastor. Okay. So when you go out, you will mess either way it go because of being a sheep, you need pastor. Pastor. You cannot live without pastor. So whether you are in or whether you are out, you are looking for pastor. Either way it goes. But the safest place is in your inn. It's in your inn. That is the safest place. And so you've literally gone out. Uh, and in your going out, you were looking for safety. Tell me what you're talking about. I'm talking about you uh, that allowed yourself because of being lonely. You know, you that, oh God, help me this morning. You you gonna really make me do this live on this morning, ain't you? Okay, so listen, you you went out because you you were lonely. You know, you 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 know, I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of being alone. Would you help me? You know, so you 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 went out. You were looking for pastors, so you mess around and you got yourself caught up with some somebody that seemed as though they were pastor. You know. They provided pasture. They, you know, they're the, they're what the word says, man, the word says and finds pasture. So whether in or out, you are a sheep, you're looking for pasture because that's the nature of a sheep has to have pasture. I got to have somewhere to graze in. I, I got to have somewhere to be able to graze from. So I'm looking for pasture. And uh, maybe, you know, there's, there's pasture in this right here, because when you come in, when when, whenever you are in, you are removed from what is out. And so when you are in, it seems as though I literally can't get to what is out. And so when there is, uh, uh, when you have to watch your sight when you are in, uh, God help me this morning. I want y'all to pray for me. If you'll pray for me, I'll do it this morning. But you got to pray for me, please. Because if you don't pray for me, I'm going to walk off and leave this. Listen, and I need to bring somebody back home this morning. Okay, so look, you when you are in, and if you'll notice, even in your house, our houses, we build them with windows. And so even though we are in, 
we can still see out. There is a window behind me right here that shows my backyard. So I can look out this window and I can see what's out there, even though I am in. And so if I don't watch it, I've been brought in, but my eyes can be captivated by what is out there. And it can literally lure me out there because of what may seem to be beautiful out there. It seems as though it's beautiful. So if I'm not content with what is in, then I'm going to start going out. Oh, God, help me, please. If I am not settled in what God helped me this morning, if I'm not settled in what is in, then I'm going to start going out. I'm going to look in external places for things. And and, and so Jesus says, uh, uh, verse 9 in John uh, chapter, what, 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 what well, well, yeah, well, John chapter 10 and verse 9, I am the door by me. If any man enter in and gets in, he shall be saved. Uh, your safest place is when you're in, but shall go in and out and find pastor. Okay, look, that going in and out, I, that, I just need to tell you this morning. I, I got to tell you, you got to let me tell you, you got to let me tell you, you got to let me tell you this morning. Listen, sweetheart, I know it don't look good to go out and don't. It don't, it don't, it didn't look good when I went out. It don't look good. It don't look good and it'll get you talked about. I did, man, they'll rag you. They'll kill you. It'll be them church folk too. They'll drag you all through the mud for your going out. Yeah, it'll be them. It'll be them. It will be them, you know, and that, that will talk about you with your going in and out. But baby, can I tell you something? I listen, I need to bring you home this morning. I, I need to bring you back in. Okay. Uh, Jesus, this, I love how it says, shall go in and out. So just as sure as you went out, you can bring your butt home right back in, okay? Just as sure as you went out, oh, Jesus Christ, help me, Lord. Just as sure as you went out, you can bring your butt home back in. But let me tell you what's going to help you to come back in. See, the scripture says, find pasture. And see, what it, it, it looks like it's good when you first get there in it, you know? It looked like it was green grass, didn't it? It looked like it was promising. Oh, somebody help me this morning please. It looked very promising, didn't it? But oh, Jesus Christ, as as they say, uh, you mess around and found out that it was a, 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 a LED light on, on some brown grass. It wasn't as green. And so I love how he says, shall go in and out. So I need to encourage the people that have struggled with going out. So, sweetheart, just as sure as you went out, you can come back in. That door's still there. That door is still down. Just as sure as you went out, you can come. Don't let them folk tell you you can't come back. Don't let them folk tell you you can't come back. Don't let people tell you you can't come back. Do not allow even yourself to tell you that you can't come back. I'm looking at the word that says, shall go in and out and find pasture. Then he gets even more bold. Jesus is a bad man. That The joker is bad. That's the baddest I know, man. That He's the baddest I know and the sweetest I know. He is. But I tell you, he's so bad. Look at, he goes in verse 10, John 10, 10 and 10, and literally says, I'm going to make it plain for you. I'm going to give you some insight on what's going on. I'm going to help you with this thing called life. He says, look, the thief cometh not but to, for to steal mm-hmm. and to kill and to destroy. And so this is the thing about it. What he was trying to let us know right there is, is baby, you got value. That's what he's trying to tell you. So I need to talk to you that's done gone out. I need to tell you that you still got value, okay? I, oh God, don't make me cry this morning. I need to tell you that you still don't make me cry, Lord. I need to tell you that you still got value, all right? I just I just need to tell you you still got value, right? I know you got some mud on you. Mm-hmm. 
I know it took something from you for you to be able to do that, but you still got value, right? I know, but well, you don't understand how bad I feel. You know, you don't know what it feels like to me with what I done done. You know, hey, listen, listen, sweetheart, you can't tell me. I know how bad it feels to be done something. I know what I did in 03. I know I made him feel the nails. I know I did. I know I did. I made him feel them nails being driven in his hands and in his feet. Them stakes, they called them. I know I made him feel it in 03, sweetheart. I know I did. I know I did. I know I made him feel that crown of thorns being pushed down in his head because I went out, sweetheart. I, I just as sure as I had went in, old fiend went back out. And so I know for a fact I made him feel some type of way. I know I made him feel them 39 stripes on his back when I went out. But I need to tell you there is value on you. And that is the reason why the enemy is trying to subdue you. That is the reason why the enemy is literally trying to get rid of you. It's because there is value on you. I know you got mud on you, sweetie. But would you just come back in? There is a washing that... Mm, there is a washroom in. There is a washroom in. There we don't have to do. We don't have to deal with outhouses anymore. God, help me, please. The times have changed, baby. We don't have to do it outside anymore. Our bathrooms are indoor now. We all have the ability to come in and be cleansed now. You don't have to be out there. God, help me, please. You don't have to be out there. You can come in now and come back in because the door is a revival door as to where you can come back in and you can be cleansed from that stuff. You don't have to be hell bound by that stuff anymore. You don't have to have the restrictions on you anymore. You don't have to have the limitations on you anymore. You don't have to have the guilt, the condemnation, the shame on you anymore. Just come in because the door is still there. Oh, God help me. The door is still there. The door didn't move is still in the same place. The door has not changed. The location of where it is is still in the same place. He says you got value. That's what it says to me at the beginning of verse 10. You got value. Hold on one second, y'all. I got the clean. Hold on one second, man. Got me, y'all got me crying. Y'all got me crying this morning. One second. Y'all got me crying this morning. I apologize. Y'all got me crying. Look, listen. Uh, you got value, sweetheart. The door did not move. It did not move. The door is still. It's still right there. It's still right there. And you can just come back in. He says, it shall go in and out. Uh, shall go in and out. Shall go in and out. I need to give some hope to some people. I need to give some hope to some folk today. Listen, I don't, I don't. <laughs> don't let them tell you that you're going to always do it right while you're on this journey because you ain't. Don't be tricked. Sometimes it's part of life. It's part of learning lessons that, man, I learned something in 03. I learned something about myself. And if you see it is that you learn something about yourself. I tell you what I learned. The Bible says this right here. Don't let no man think more highly of himself than he ought. Don't think more highly than he ought. Don't think that it can't happen to you. Because it can He says going in and out. And just as sure as you in, there are windows that'll let you see out. And if you mess around and keep hanging around them windows, and you can see what's out there, but something out there bound to look good to you after a while, and they mess around and go out. But I'm grateful that I can come back in. Don't let nobody tell you. I'm, 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 I'm telling y'all the truth. This journey, I, although I love it, I love it, and I pray I die in it. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. And when I seen that, I about shall go in and out. This is for all the folk <laughs> that think, yeah, I, I, I got it. 
They ain't going nowhere, you know. I never shut your nasty mouth, never. You a lie, you don't know what you would do. I ne- oh, man, hush. <laughs> you can't tell me that you don't been with the Lord 20 years and you ain't done nothing. You a lie. You a lie. Because it said go in and out. Uh, it said go in and out. Even Jesus' disciples went in and out. The Bible literally says that after they crucified Jesus, Peter went back to what he was familiar with. Uh, y'all better go on somewhere. You better go on somewhere now. You better go on somewhere. Because <laughs> you will go back. Yeah, yeah. You will find yourself doing some stuff. That's why I'm cautious about what I say about people. I don't put my mouth on people for their struggles. I don't talk against people for their struggles. <laughs> I can't afford to. I can't afford to. Not when it's saying, <laughs> I am the door, yeah. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out. Wait, hold up there one second, man. I'm saved, but I'm going to still be going in and out. Y'all better leave me alone this morning. Y'all better leave me alone this morning. I believe the word. I believe God. Because if God didn't help me with a lot of the stuff I have to deal with, I'd have been lost my mind. I believe God. That man just said, that he will enter in and shall be saved, but then gonna go in and out. After being saved, go go in and out. And y'all wanna whoop folk because they mess up. Miss me with it. Call me whatever kind of preacher you wanna call me. I don't fool with her. <laughs> I can't get with her. I'm glad you can't. I probably don't want to get with you, to be honest, because I don't like fake mess. I can't deal with it. I don't like pressure and putting that pressure on folk. And I, 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 no, 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 no. How about let me help you from this fall, right? I told y'all I came to bring some people home this morning. I, I, I told y'all, so my righteous people, all of y'all self-righteous folk that don't ever do nothing, I'm going to need you to exit out of here, all right? Because I'm taking authority against you anyway this morning. I need to get some of my folk that struggle, you know, them the ones I need to talk to this morning. I, I need to talk to y'all that's going in and out, baby. I need to tell you, you got value. You got value. Because Jesus, Jesus said, why you got value? In verse 10, he said, the thief came. He cometh. He come but to steal. This joker done showed up to kill. And he come to destroy. Why? Why does he want you? Because you had sense enough to go in. That's why he wants you. You had sense enough to go in. Well, I didn't stay in. Yeah, it's all right, baby. See, you wasn't strong enough to stay in. But somebody like me going to pray for you, sweetheart. I ain't going to whoop you. I ain't going to drag you. No, no. I ain't going to bash you, honey. I'm too scared to bash you. Because as soon as I get through bashing you, I'm going in that mess myself. Because I don't been putting my mouth on you. It shouldn't have been putting my mouth on you. So now I got to go through it. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. You know what I'm going to say? Lord, please help. Help them. God, please help them. Please show mercy on them. Please grant favor to them. Send them a deliverance, God. Send somebody in their way that can help them. Find out what's really going on to the root and the cause of why they did that. Why they went out, God. And Father, take authority against that and deliver them. That's what I'm going to say. You ain't going to hear me talking about, I never. I wish I would. Uh -uh, Uh-uh. 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 Jesus said you got value. That's why the thief wants to do this to you. This is why he wants to do this to you. Because you got value. That's what I take out of John 10. And 10, I know you've heard it preached so many times, so have I. But what I see at the beginning of that is value, baby. You have value. The thief would not have come but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He only wants to get rid of what has value. You have value. I messed up. I'm trying to tell you, you got value, though. You don't see the mud on me. Come in here, baby. It ain't our houses no more. It's an in-house now. Bring your butt back in and get cleansed. Bring your butt back in and God help me this morning.
bring your butt back in. Bring your butt back in. Get you some help. Bring your butt back in. Let him get that mud off of you. Let him get all that off. I ain't finished with the text yet. Let me finish verse, verse 10, John 10, 10. It gets even better. He says, I am come. I am come. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't went out. Yeah. But I am come. You coming at me, Lord? You mean to tell me you coming at me? You coming for me? As messed up as I am? You coming for me? You must didn't see what I did. You must didn't see me. When I drove the nail in your hand, I had the hammer in my hand. It was me. You didn't see me, Lord. I was one of the ones that hit you with the whip. And you still coming for me? Yeah, I'm coming for you. For you. I am come. That you, who is you? The one that hurt me? The one that rejected me. The one that turned the back on me. You, you, you that one. The one that has fallen and feel like you can't get up. You, you. The one that's whooping yourself. You, you. The one that has so much guilt and regret. You, you. The one that has made so many mistakes. You. The one. Yeah. The one that was scarred as a child. Yeah, you. Yeah. The one that's wondering why my daddy didn't love me. You. Yeah, yeah. The one that says my mama treated me so bad. She didn't make me feel like I was loved. I am come for you. 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 Why? Because you have value. You have value. They didn't see it, but I do. They didn't appreciate it, but I do. You just went in the wrong door, sweetie. You went in the wrong door. You went in the wrong door. You sought pasture in the wrong places. And you're going in and out. But I'm here. I'm here. I am come, he says, that they mm, might have, may have life. What you say? You mean to tell me you've come to give me victory in the place that I'm having the greatest defeat in? See, let me tell y'all something. A lot of people, I can't wait to get to heaven. I ain't going to cry no more. Let me tell y'all something about old Delphine. I ain't going to do much of it here. <laughs> and it ain't because my heart is callous. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's because he's come to give me life. He's come to give me the ability to overcome those things. Yeah. Can't tell you I won't shed a tear. But I can tell you that I won't stay in that place. No place of adversity do I have any desire to stay in anymore in my life. I got to overcome it. I got to overcome it. Revelation 2 and 7 will forever stick with me. To him that overcome it shall he eat of the tree of life. The tree of life. And Jesus talks about how he will know the purpose and the plan of, of God. So in anything that I face now, I'm looking to overcome. I'm immediately looking for the answer, for the way of the out, the escape out of it, and the ability to overcome. He says, I am come that they may have life. He wants to do something for your life. 
He wants to teach you to win in life. He wants to give you success, peace, righteousness, joy in life. He wants to give you the overcoming ability in life. Then he goes on to say, and that they might have it more abundant, more abundantly. Listen to what he said that they would have. He said they would have life and have it. What is the it? Life. And to have life more abundantly. That's the answer. That's the key to it all. That's the answer. You have to understand that there's value on you. That's why the enemy wants to kill. That's why he wants to steal and he wants to destroy because of the value that you have. That's why. There's value on you. Well, I've gone out. You still got value. All you got to do is clean it up. And it's still just as valuable. Just clean it up. It's still just as valuable. You can take a Louis Vuitton shirt, take it outside and throw it in your yard, in the dirt. Take that same shirt, take it in the house and clean it up. It's still got value. It's got value because of the name on it. You got value because of the name on you. You have value. So if I could leave you with anything this morning, it done made me cry anyway. If I could leave you with anything this morning, let me tell you. You still have value. You still have value. You still have value. All is not lost. They didn't get the best of you. There's still some left. There's still some left. Go back in. Let's go back in and get cleansed. Go home. Go home. Go home. The door is open. The father loves you. I can envision the prodigal son dad just sitting there looking towards the direction that he was waiting for his son to come back in. And the son comes home because he still had value. Didn't matter how much he had went out there and waddled. He still carried that family name. And as long as you still carry that family name, you still have value. You still have value. 2003, I waddled, but I still had that name. Satan couldn't change my name. He couldn't change my name. You still have value. Father, bless your people today. Encourage and uplift your people. Allow this to hit exactly where it needed to hit. To drop upon the heart where it needed to drop. I pray that people rekindle themselves with you today. They rekindle the love within themselves. A love for themselves. They will look in the mirror today and say, I am beautiful. I have value. I have value. I am worth it all. I am worth it all. I pray that they would do this today. And I thank you just for who you are, God, and for loving us beyond the mistakes that we make, loving us beyond the challenges that we face and the things that we deal with. I am not perfect, and I ain't even trying to be. I won't ever be as long as I'm in this body because I love the fact that it keeps me humble before you. I love my thorn 
in my flesh because it keeps me broken before you. It keeps me at a point of knowing that I cannot make it without you. So I embrace my thorn. I embrace it. I don't ask God to move it no more. I embrace it now. Yeah. It keeps me before his presence. Because I understand that Delphine is not perfect. It keeps me in a place as to where I can show mercy to my brothers and sisters. Because I need mercy. So I love y'all. Be encouraged. Because I'm in this for the long haul. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm in this for the long haul. Y'all go about your business, you know, and have you a wonderful day, as Tab Brown would say. Have you an amazing day, please, because I'm going to do the best I can. I'm going to get my sheets out this, out this wash machine and put them where they can dry. Got them smelling real good, too. Ooh, baby. Yes. Do a couple of things around this house and then come out. Come out today to see the beauty of the world. So, y'all be good. I'm standing with you. But go home. Go back inside. Y'all be good. I love you. Bye.